Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the Paint with Lovejoy website. Thanks so much for joining me and thank you for your support and checking out this page. Paint with Lovejoy started out as a passion project about six or seven years ago um, with the goal and the intention of helping people get comfortable painting at home um, that are never before painters, first time painters, or beginner painters and it has grown beautifully from all of your support all of you who have gone through the painting tutorials and even sent me pictures of what you painted and all of those the all of you that have been empowered to explore your creativity you have helped make this channel grow so i am forever indebted to you um, for helping this passion project grow so I figured I'd take a moment to explain how you can utilize paint with Lovejoy, some of the directions that I'll be going, uh, the directions I'll be going in the future, and addressing some of the common questions that I get asked. So paint with Lovejoy, uh, my YouTube or the website is meant for those of you that have never painted before, or maybe have very little painting experience. Um, it's also for those of you that are looking at the Art Sherpa and Painting with Jane and the Painted Wings tutorials and you go, oh, those look too difficult. That looks too hard for me to do. I am the teacher that you should start with and I will help you gain the confidence so that way you can move on to those tutorials that you want to paint but you think might be too hard. So I am your teacher to kind of give you the nice introduction to painting. I will give you simple step-by-step -step tutorials and then I'll also give you the nice positive feedback, point out your strengths and push you in directions um, to push you outside your comfort zone and to keep growing. By the time you are done with my three levels on Paint with Lovejoy, you will be ready to go tackle those harder teachers, those harder tutorials and push your comfort zone yet again. So. Again, if you've never painted before, this is the place you want to start. And as you're looking at my Paint with Lovejoy YouTube or even my paintwithlovejoy.com website, there's kind of three categories that I want you to focus on. And the first one is first time painters. And again, that's for those of you that have never painted before. These are great tutorials, easy, approachable, simple materials, and it's going to give you the confidence in your skills and your confidence in your painting process. And it is important that you build a strong foundation before you start tackling other more challenging paintings or challenging things. So again, really important to get a good foundation for yourself and that's going to help your learning curve in the future. When you are done with my first time painter options, I'm going to recommend that you move up to my beginner painter options. These are going to be a little bit more involved, a little bit more detailed, um, and a slight little more structure to those. So a great kind of stepping stone to go from first time painter to beginner painter. And then when you feel pretty comfortable as a beginner painter, I want you to graduate to my paint your pet journey, my paint your pet course in those. Um, in that course, you're going to get even more of a val uh, foundational skill for artwork. And in the realistic version, we'll talk about the value scale and how you can create this 3D illusion on a flat 2D surface. And when you paint something you love, like your pet, you actually put more into um, the efforts, into learning, and you actually enjoy the process a little bit more. So those are, again, kind of the steps that I want you to go for. Um, for my website. First time painters, start there. If you have a little bit of experience, start with my beginner painters and work your way up to the paint your pet class. Once you've gone through those three stages, you should have enough confidence to go, ooh, that's a harder painting. Let's give that one a try. That teacher, uh, Painting with Jane or Art Sherpa or Painted Wing, um, maybe those look less intimidating now after you've taken some of my courses. So again, I want you to gain the confidence from my co uh, courses and my tutorials so that way you can continue to challenge yourself in other areas. And I do encourage that you paint on a regular basis. Don't just do it once a year or a couple times a year. 
try to bring this in monthly, if not weekly or bi-weekly into your routine. You will start to realize that your body and your mind start looking forward to your painting time because it's a place that you can kind of unwind, let your mind wander, and it doesn't really matter um, what your final painting looks like. It's more about the process and just giving yourself that space and that time. You have other areas of your life that are super stressful, very structured, very rigid, and have a definite outcome that you have to get to in those other areas of your life. So by having a creative outlet with less objectives and just more freedom to play and get creative, that helps bring more balance to your life and it helps you deal with some of your stresses that are always gonna be in your life. So that's why I'm a big fan and kind of pusher of bringing um, painting or creativity into your life on a regular basis. On the Paint with Lovejoy website, you've got two options to help you bring painting into your routine on a regular basis. The first one, which is the more intense option, are my painting camps. I have four week painting camps on there. Uh, right now, I believe there's three or four options, so you can pick which one that you like. First time painter boot camp, acrylic blending camp, paint your pet camp, and then a few other little random ones in there. With the camps, you are gonna have weekly assignments that you should complete each week. You're also gonna get mentored by me and you're gonna get weekly feedback from me. And I'm gonna be pointing out all the things you're doing really well because I want you to continue doing those. And I'm also gonna give you a few things that I may see you struggling with and give you some tips to be able to push you beyond that so that way you can gain comfort in those things um, that might seem a little intimidating. So the camps are really good. Four weeks of kind of intense training and feedback and weekly assignments. And the great thing about the four week camps is you don't have to wait for a specific date for it to start. The way I've structured them online, you can start when you feel inspired to start the camp, go through the four weeks. I will give you the feedback via email and video feedback and then um, you give yourself four weeks and then you paint. And then if you have to wait a few weeks to do another one, then do another one. But again, I want you to start when you feel inspired and ready to start painting on those camps. So sign up when you want to, and I will be giving you weekly feedback to help you greatly improve your skills. For a bit more laid back approach, I have painting clubs and I'm working on a drawing club that's gonna be coming out hopefully by the end of the year. Um, but I have clubs and the clubs are a little more relaxed pace um, to where you're gonna get a new tutorial every two weeks. So every two weeks you've got a new project to work on. Um, and I recommend that you can paint that project multiple times, you get better each time. At the moment I have an easy um, acrylic painting club, very approachable, great for my first time painters. I have an iconic painting club to where you're going to be painting um, simplified versions of Monet's work, Van Gogh, there's some Dali in there, Picasso, um, O'Keeffe, let's see, Degas. I also have a watercolor club for those of you that want to get more involved with watercolors and it is the subject matter, fo the focus of the subject matter is birds. Check out my watercolor club. It's gonna give you that nice confidence and foundation to go try some other harder paintings. And again, it gets you that regular new tutorial every two weeks. Again, this passion project would not be here without your support. So you have been a big part of why the website is the way that it is, um, the evolution of the website and the evolution of my uh, uh, YouTube channel and online presence. So again, thank you. For all of you that have been sending me photos of what you paint, thank you, thank you, thank you for sending those to me. They completely make my day. I love all the comments and the um, beautiful stories that you guys are sharing with me. So please keep those coming. I love those. I do. If you would like to support Paint with Lovejoy even more, um, feel free. Uh, cash is always awesome. You can always send me Venmo, PayPal. You can mail me a check. You can join, uh, be one of my Patreons. Um, you can share the word, uh, share it with your community, my tutorials. 
uh, share what you've painted with your community. All those things are forms of support and I'm very, very grateful for them. I'm real, rather picky on where I might advertise, how much money I might use to advertise. I'm more of a fan of word of mouth and you sharing with your community um, how much my tutorials or my courses have helped you and letting my passion project grow organically. So um, more than likely, I will continue to rely on that in the future. So please share this with your community. Please keep painting. Please keep finding your ways to be stress-free or alleviate your stress or balance out your stress because that's kind of my goal and one of my purposes with creating the Paint with Lovejoy website is we have so many stressed out people, so many stressful situations in this life. So if I can help you with a little bit of painting to de-escalate some of that stress, to relieve some of that stress, then my purpose is being fulfilled on this planet by helping you de-stress. So any questions, please leave comments on the YouTube channel. Um, please send me an email message, paintwithlovejoy at gmail.com, or feel free to leave a message on any of my social accounts. Like I said earlier, when I reply, you are getting the reply from me. Um, Please keep letting me know some of the things that you would like me to create in the future. I do have some new projects that I'm working on, the drawing club, so I will deviate a little bit from the painting concept, but still encouraging my beginners and my first time creatives to exercise their creative outlets. So um, I think that kind of covers it for this update. Uh, it'll probably be another six or eight months before I do another update, but that's just kind of the way it goes. But um, again, super, super thrilled to be doing what I do every day. Most of the times I am walking around with a smile on my face going, yep, I get to paint every day. Yep, I get to help people with their creativity. So um, I'm just thrilled to be able to do what I do. So thank you so much for your support. I look forward to working with you in the future. I look forward to working and seeing what your paintings turn out. And again, any questions, please let me know. Have a wonderful day, and I look forward to working with you. Cheers. Yeah.